So SSH certificates have, have been around um, since around about 2010. And over, I would say, probably the last few years, they've, they've really started to gain in popularity. And kind of the reasons behind that is, is companies in the, the industry is, is, is really starting to recognize that there's a problem when it comes to SSH keys. Um, primarily in, I would say, you know, one that they, 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 they last forever, they don't expire. Um, another one being that managing them is extremely complex because um, you can generate them very simply. Um, and with certificates, it, it really allows you to put um, kind of a, a more strict guidelines around how SSH can be used because you're locking that in via your certificate template. So policies that were put on keys, uh, those can be changed. If, if a privileged user um, wants to and, and they're savvy enough, they can go in and, and they can change maybe some of, take out source restrictions from authorized keys or change individual policies. So remove, let's say if port forwarding is, is disallowed um, on that specific uh, public key where they're trying to access. Um, they could take, they could remove that. And now they could use that for port forwarding. Um, with SSH certificates, when we build policy into SSH certificates, that that's locked in there. They're not able to, to change that without actually having um, access to the key pair. I mean, at a very base level, while they're both certificates, they're, they're not the same, right? They're not the same format. An SSH certificate is not an X509 certificate. Um, it is generated from an actual SSH certificate authority and, and that is allowing for SSH to protocol to be leveraged and SSH connections to be used via these certificates. Uh, when it comes to you know, TLS certificates, you, you, you wouldn't be able to use those uh, for an SSH connection there, but you know, kind of on that same thread. Uh, from an SSH uh, certificate authority, they're not generating uh, X509 certificates, just as if you have a Microsoft certificate authority in-house, that's not going to be able to generate SSH uh, certificates for you. You know, kind of the big reason that we see customers going towards SSH certificates would be um, for the simple fact of SSH keys, they kind of live in perpetuity. Unless you go out there and physically have a, a mechanism by which you can remove those keys, inventory them, and, and know who they belong to in a way to do key attestation and make sure that they, they actually need to be out there, uh, there's not a really good way to stop that key sprawl. So one of the ways that individuals are now starting to look at this is by using SSH certificates. Uh, some of the benefits you get there is that these keys are going to passively expire uh, and instead of sitting out there for you know for forever until that either the, the server dies or somebody goes out there and actually removes uh, that key so um, another benefit would be that you can customize the validity period of, of these certificates so if, if you're using an SSH certificate for let's say an application and it takes an hour for that application to do its task that it's using SSH for. It can go out and you do that task. It requests that certificate uh, and it will only live for an hour after that. That's going to passively expire and it, it wouldn't be able to be used again if they needed to do uh, another connection. Uh, they would have to go out and, and request that new certificate there and, and not just kind of have that live out there um, forever, if you will. While I think they're kind of waning in popularity in, in lieu of certificates, I, I, I would be shocked to, to see them actually go away and and not be able to be and not be used in, in some form or fashion um, within specific environments. I think a lot of the legacy stuff uh, that companies are using today is, is still going to require SSH keys. And then if we take a look more towards the future and you know, you're looking at digital transformation, you're looking at um, short lived instances that we see today, people are probably going to want to start using a lot more SSH certificates for those types of things and, and leaving the SSH keys to some of more of their legacy infrastructure um, that's out there today, whether it's they, they don't want to make the change or or can't support 
SSH certificates, you know, we really just don't see them going away anytime soon. And, and that's why it is truly important for, uh, you know, for a company to be able to have um, the ability to, to support both SSH certificates as well as SSH keys. So you can have that true overall coverage and visibility of your SSH estate.